Filippo Lanza, Portfolio Manager for the Edge Invest Numen Credit Fund, an operational fund with a long short approach in the government's bond sector, financial bonds and corporate bond sectors. The geographical focus is mainly European. How would you comment the market environment for your strategy so far in 2016? What was the main difficulty in managing the portfolio year to date? 2016, especially the beginning, was uh, characterized by um, very, uh, very violent swings in the market uh, with um, uh, an increased level of volatility across different asset classes, even in asset classes that uh, typically are relatively uh, calm. And there was a big surprise to a lot of market participants because typically January is a good month, is a decent month where a lot of uh, uh, money is getting put to work and so it was uh, a big surprise. We were quite negative so we were not uh, surprised on one side and on the other side we um, leveraged on our very opportunistic agile approach and so we managed to uh, capture and cash in some of the volatility uh, during the first few months and that was uh, the main driver for the positive performance. Uh, volatility obviously is a very good thing uh, if you manage to ride it and, 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 and uh, capitalize it in, uh, in, in positive performance, at the same time requires a, a very, very strong focus on risk management and uh, portfolio discipline, which uh, we had and we are very focused on for the remainder of the year. Do you expect uh, global central banks uh, to be successful in their effort to create inflation? I definitely hope so. Uh, it's probably more a wish than a... Than a convinced statement. Uh, clearly, until now, we've seen a, a very um, massive um, uh, monetary policy intervention, uh, not just in Europe, but across the world. And uh, if anything, we've seen an acceleration of that. Um, and not necessarily in a competitive fashion, as we've seen last year with uh, a lot of FX volatility, but more as a genuine like global approach to restart the, the economic growth. Uh, unfortunately, as of now, the, the growth has been very subdued and probably very disappointing compared to the amount of stimulus uh, and not just monetary. Um, so the, con the biggest concern, which is more a question mark now than a, than a certainty, is do we have a, a structural problem? Is uh, the, the post-finance crisis in 2008 uh, maybe was not something just cyclical, but it was more like structural, to which Central banks obviously have very limited uh, power, so that, that is a lot more concerning. How would you expect uh, to be the market environment for your strategy for the remainder of the year? We expect volatility to stay high. Uh, we expect the market to go into very violent swings, uh, up and downs. Um, we are quite convinced that we enter into a bear market, especially for fixed income, especially credit, and in particular the debt uh, um, issued by banks. Uh, commercial banks uh, in Europe. Um, we think volatility is easier to stay. Um, we think there will be plenty of policy makers intervention during the year um, and there's going to be a reaction between, there's going to be an interplay between the market and the policy makers um, actions. But volatility is definitely there to stay. We uh, maintain a short bias. We are worried about current valuation across. We think um, there is a lot of potential downside, uh, both on, uh, on the debt market and the equity market. So we are very cautious, we play from the short side, and we try to stay as opportunistic if we need to change position from long to short to ride the volatility at the moment. Yeah.